Hello everyone, can you believe that it is spring? This is the first day of spring. So I know if you're anything like me, you love to layer your fragrances. I would love for you to tune in. See you soon. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. We also talk about fragrance layering, uh, all different methods of fragrance, uh, niche, uh, high end. We also get into some clone fragrances. So if you have never seen my face on here, I just happen to pop up on your feed, then welcome. My name is Claudia Nari. I would love for you to subscribe. You can follow me on all my social medias. Uh, today's topic is going to be about my top layering combos for spring, since today is the first day of spring. If it sounds like something you're interested in, then please stay tuned. All right, beautiful people, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to give you the fragrance and I'm going to give you the layering. I do advise you to go to the uh, description It'll have links to where you can get the fragrances from. If the body sprays are still uh, available at Bath & Body Works, then um, I'll link that also. If not, you'll at least have the combo of what I put together. Uh, the very first one, let's jump into it. So the very first one is going to be Mongold Cane Sugar. Mongold Cane Sugar is golden citrus. It is shining, my goal is cane sugar, and it's warm amber. What I layer this one here with, and I want to make sure you can see it, so I'm trying to take some of the glare off of it, is going to be Delina Divine by Givenchy. Delina Divine by Givenchy is going to be your woody, fruity, sweet, kind of patchouli-based fragrance. And they work well together because this one has a bit of a powderness in the background, right? So if you take and add it with the sugar cane, it kind of takes some of that powderiness out of it. But it just, they work amazing together. Being that they both have the same kind of backdrop, right? That mango is almost, it's floral, which you'll get in here, right? But it's kind of like sweet. So I like, I love these two together. So those are my two choices if you happen to have this one in your collection. All right, this is a new one that they actually came out with. And I won't say new, but it's it's of current. It's, it's currently in there and it's Poppy. Poppy by Bath & Body Works is going to give you the uh, fresh mountain morning dew. You're going to get wild Poppy. You're going to also get... Uh, this sugared rhubarb along with a juicy pea, a pear, right? So if you're gonna have that in your in on your spray, so that's what you're spraying your body with, then I'm going with the OG. I don't a lot of people are not talking about this one anymore. They really should, because this is absolutely gorgeous. And that is Amo Farmagamo, right? This one here, it just smelled like a like a icicle, right? But I think it's the rhubarb that's in it. And, I, and I, really, I really don't know why people are not talking about this one anymore. And every time I spray this or every time I come up on it in my collection, uh, particularly around the springtime, which is like now here in Texas, uh, I, I turn to this one and I really have to give it a little more uh, time. And I'm, I'm one of the people who just forgot about it. I don't know what happened. She was, she was the woman, she was the G. And then people just forgot. But if you add it with Poppy and put this one here, if you still have it in your collection, uh, and I know there are some people who still have it because they, I mean, there are folks who are die hard for it. But if you add it back to your collection mm, and put them together, I'm telling you, it's absolutely amazing. Amo Famagamo with Poppy. Spray your body and then put this on top magic okay this one here um and hopefully you can still find this one like i said i have a few of them you might have a hard time finding but uh this one here is magnolia charm when this one came out it was dew pear blossom uh the magnolia and the cedar i must admit uh 
upon first spray of this one it was around the time i just was trying to see if i can finally get into some floral scents right so i bought this one here and i didn't reach for it a whole lot um and you know take that as a grain of salt i am a person who i love a more gourmand fragrances but sometimes you just can't wear gourmand sometime around this time it's beautiful it's uh, birds are chirping outside the breeze is gorgeous you just need a good floral scent so magnolia charm what i wear this one with is i had to have some level of gourmand like something gourmand so i layer that one with prada la femme prada la femme has the yellow flowers right so you're going to get the magnolia you're going to get the frangipani you have some ylang ylang even some iris is in it right but mostly the frangipani the ylang ylang and the magnolia right but what i liked most about it was the beeswax there is a honey undertone in this fragrance and when i wear with magnolia charm it gives me the floralness but i, I kind of cheat a little bit and I still get my gourmand, but I put these two together. So if you have Magnolia Charm and you have Prada La Femme, not the Absolute, because the Absolute went a little heavier. It had a little more amber in it. Uh, they didn't pretty much do the beeswax. So it's a difference. The original La Femme, not Absolute. And then add it with Magnolia Charm. Nice for a gourmand lover. This is a great combo for a gourmand lover because it gives you some floral but not too much. Okay, so now we have Hibiscus Paradise. Hibiscus Paradise is, oh God, this one was so, it was like a clean girl scent, right? I had to have it. Uh, it was pink hibiscus. It is pink hibiscus, it's juicy guava, and it has a base of a sun-kissed coconut, right? So even though this is floral, it's almost like a beach time, right? A beach time fragrance. Um, maybe a picnic on the beach or somewhere where there's a gorgeous view. This one here, I think, would pair great. So with that, keeping up with the fact that it's a clean, more fresh, more uh inviting scent it's not it's not very strong i like to pair this with a middle eastern fragrance and the middle eastern fragrance is tour scene right there's a lot of them so be careful because there's a, a variety but this one here is scene scene has pear guava orange blossom rose with a touch of honey this one is not sweet it's just a little honey in it right it has lily of the valley you're gonna get musk but how they work great together is the guava this just becomes a really fresh beach fragrance like this is an easy reach beach fragrance with a touch of floral like it's a touch of it you you just smell it's a sundress out is a sundress fragrance to me yeah i love them two together they don't compete because i have one sprayed here and i have one sprayed here they don't they don't compete with each other ultimately it's clean it's just a really clean scent it is not um too heavy in floral nor is it too sweet and fruity right it's just a really good fresh out the shower blend Hibiscus Paradise with Sator Scene by Rossar. And again, if you if you want these combos, they are in the description. I have them linked together. I always put them together. But I like that one. All right, I have one now if you're going on a date, right? So you're going on a date, you want to wear floral, it's springtime. Uh, you have on something uh really cute right and you first meet them i think this would probably be a great first date combo right biggest thing to it is if you are a fan of francis cork john this was his fragrance this is one of his fragrance before he started his own line but let's get into what i start off with what am i layering it to perfect peony Perfect Peony has come out with a different name. And if I can figure out the new name that they have for it, I'll list it right here. If not, uh, this was when they went through the time um, the time where they were doing single notes. Like, so it was Perfect Peony. They had a rose one. 
I want to say they had a magnolia, and that was it. That was just all that was in it. They might have added something else, but this is when they were doing the one note of sprays, right? So Perfect Peony. Perfect Peony, if I can find the notes for it, I'll make sure to list it across here or somewhere on the side so that you know the notes that are in it. But I usually use this one just when I want to add a peony note to any of my fragrances. But again, if you are a fan of Francis Cross John, this is when he did Kenzo's World Intense. He was the nose behind this one here. And it was uh, World Intense was, the, in the World one was nice, right? But the Intense took it to another level. And the reason why I like to pair with this one is because this one had plum, it has peony, it has lily, uh, has jasmine, and it has vanilla in it. This is a gem. Like, it's a gem. And I don't, you know, I know that everyone is into all these either niche or high-end. And you don't really hear too much about designer fragrances. But this is when the, well, particularly for him, this is when he, before he decided to start his own line. And he was just a nose behind a lot of people's fragrance. Oh, God, I love this one. I... I am I'm going to commit myself this year to reach, to stop reaching for the, when I get to each season, I always reach for my most commons, the ones I know that I'm going to wear. I think I'm going to start touching on some of the ones that are, are in the back of my collection for that particular line. But let's, so let's go ahead and put the whole thing together. Because again, I, I wear these when, when it's springtime. Right, so I don't really get to wear these all year long, and not that you can't wear them, but you know, I have to try to wear all of my fragrances at some point or make an attempt. But getting back to this combo right here, God, it is so beautiful. It takes the peony because I feel like this is when they were doing the one note, so peony they take it up a notch, so you get this juicy plum from Kenzo World Intense. In like a background of a jasmine and the perfect peony just it brings the peony back back to life it puts it where when you wear this one by itself you get more plum and jasmine so it's plum in the beginning and it dries down to jasmine perfect peony makes that peony note in here last a lot longer so then you get more of a, a delicate peony along with your jasmine, along with your plum, and then when it finally starts to settle down and it becomes a base on your skin, that plum that plum note in vanilla, which is in here, this keeps it floral. These are great together. Ugh, these are so good together. I just can't stop smelling it. Yeah, I have to get back into my collection and to some of the fragrances that I've have I've somehow forgotten about. Okay, this is around that time where Bath and Body Works went into the clean scents, right? They were only really putting out really clean uh white t-shirt, uh very clean scent, a lot of white tea and stuff. They kind of went into the more fresh uh stage. They um, you know, with Bath and Body Works, they either can go really, really gourmand or they can go really floral. But this is when they were doing the series where they were just doing the fresh out the shower, maybe a fragrance you can sleep in, just a clean girl fragrance. And I'm talking about Rose Water Ivory. R Rose Water Ivory is another one that doesn't have the notes on the bottom. So I'll find the notes and I'll either list them across the bottom here or I'll put it somewhere on the side of me so you can know the notes in it. But basically this was just rose, like a rose water note uh, with a touch of floral, almost like um, the ivory the, or the little uh, ivory part that is on the rose, a little uh, swirl that's on that rose uh, that is not heavy in a note, but it's, it's there, right? So it kind of gives you a tad bit of green. I had to pair that one with a fragrance that was just on the same level, right? One that was just a clean scent. So I decided to go with 144 Bloom. 144 Bloom. And it is by Mikel Malou. And I may have, I might be pronouncing that one wrong, but the fragrance itself is perfect because this one has apricot, 
has black currant, it has raspberry, and it's pear. So you know you got that fresh opening. Then you get into the peony, which this one could really go with the perfect peony that I just talked about. But it has peony, it has lily, it has rose. And the jasmine note in this one is not predominant. It's in there, but it's not predominant. It gives you more of a fresh cut rose aspect. So when you pair with the rose water lily, it, it it makes that rose come to life, right? It pushes it back up to the front. And it's like fresh cut roses. Like if you've ever been or you've had a garden or been around someone's home who has fresh roses that grows in the springtime, that aroma, that gorgeous, it, it just smells like pink and red. Pink and red rose petals gorgeous it just is absolutely gorgeous and even though it has that musk uh almost like sun kiss musk note to it you still get more peony lily and rose so rose water lit ivory is is keeping that rose going not that the fragrance even need because the fragrance actually is a really pretty fragrance right but if i wanted to get deep into the heart of the fragrance and that heart was the peony the rose the lily the jasmine so then i put these two here together All right and to round off my top seven is a is an og they bring this one back over and over and over again and i don't know if they're gonna probably eventually uh put this one like save it where you can't get it anymore but i can't see why not this was a fragrance that when i was young i wore it <laughs> this is a fragrance i still wear now uh this fragrance is sweet pea this is the og for bath and body works it is oh my god this is the og fragrance this is the one that if you were just getting into fragrance, I even did it to my daughter. I gave it to her when she, you know, for her to stop getting into fragrance. Sweet Pea is the OG. It's one that's going to always be around. It's very similar to how they have, um, they have the vanilla note for Victoria's Secrets. That no matter when they come out with a line, they're going to do something with that vanilla note. They're going to bring that one out. And I, I I don't think it's called Basic Vanilla. Um, I'm not quite sure right now. <laughs> it has left my brain the fragrance that they bring back over and over again at uh, Victoria's Secrets. But Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is one that they're going to constantly bring it back. It's going to always come. This is before they started to bring back Strawberry Pound Cake over and over again. This is what it was always bringing back. And this one is Sweet Pea Watery Pear uh, Sheer Freesia. It has luscious raspberry along with a soft musk to it. So to keep this one more up to date, more current, uh, I, I'll say more today version. Uh, not so old school for me because I've been wearing it for a while. So I know to some people it's new. But to me, I've, I've, I've had it for I've had some version of Sweet Pea for years. I actually put that one with Mon Pelleri Intensimote, right? And I know there's a lot of these, but this is the one that's Intensimate, right? This one here, I pair it with that one because it has two different rose, roses. It has a peony, it has the freesia, and it has like a dent. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very classy scent this is one that i used to wear a lot when i worked in in the office right when i worked in the office i would pair these two together all the time because it was not uh too overbearing but it was just really beautiful but the note in here you're going to get raspberry you're going to get uh black uh current pear orange and bergamot that's your opening then you're going to get may rose bulgarian rose peony and freesia right and then the base of this one you're going to get that white musk so the soft must in here is what white must is in here, right? This is just, they call it soft must, but it's about the same. Uh, and then, of course, the freesia and the freesia is going to start working great together. But the two types of rose, and if you've ever gotten into rose, May rose is more of a heavier rose, not so much of a 
creamy rose but a heavier rose and bulgarian rose is more of your watery fresh dew morning dew rose right so where sweet pea comes in at is it takes those two roses and it gives it just an added sweetness to it that kind of tone it down and takes it out of that rose heavy note for me that's what it does and that's why i really love those two together it's just a really gorgeous, classy girl scent. You know, this was, and it just reminds me, and I, I would say fragrances take you back, right? So this reminds me of when I used to have to do meetings in the office. Now, we you know, we do it via chat uh, or Teams or something like that. But this is when you used to have to get dressed up in the office to present your project. Uh, for what I do, I have to always present my projects. And that's what this reminds me of. My two-piece suit with some nice black heels on, my crisp white shirt. Mm -hmm. Walking in the room, demanding attention. Everyone's focused on me and everything that I'm talking about. I am not too much, so I'm not coming in the room smelling like heavy, heavy fragrance that sometimes can turn to alcohol. I just smell really classy. Yeah. Fragrances for me bring back memories. These two together it was my go-to, my go-to fragrance, a fragrance combo when I worked it off, right? So I told you about my top seven. I know that there are so many more out there. This is, happens to be my top seven uh, spring layering combos. You know how we do it. In the chat, tell me about it. Is there any one of them that I told you about that you would have never thought combining together i hope i did uh and i'm open ears i'm ready to hear what are the ones that you would combine what's some fragrances i haven't touched on or a combo that i haven't touched on i know in the next coming weeks we're going to hear about a lot of combos a lot of spring fragrances uh for me 2023 is going so fast uh, it's already springtime. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, or whenever it was that you got to watch this video. My only request is that you share it so more people can find my channel. But I was excited. I could not wait. I had to put this video out because I know a lot of people look forward to knowing what do I think that I will put together for the spring. So I hope that I helped you. So on that note, I'm going to see you in the next video.